Yuma, welcome to the Adventures of Russell the Canberra series. In this episode, we're checking out the Sky Whales. These majestic creatures of the sky were born from the creative mind of Patricia Pacini. Pacini was born in Freetown, Sierra Leone in 1965. She moved to Canberra in 1972 at seven years of age. And in 1988, Pacini moved to Melbourne to pursue painting at the Victorian College of the Arts, graduating in 1991. Pacini became known for highlighting biotechnology and humanity's relationship with nature. Early on in her career, she would visit medical museums to draw preserved specimens, with aberrations and pathologies influencing her work. Pacini's artwork started with drawings before working with a team of technicians to bring her creations to life, often using silicone, leather, and human hair to make hyper-realistic creatures that challenged the viewer to inspect their relationship with nature. Bettini became involved with the ACT government in 2010, when Robin Archer, the creative director of the Centenary Celebrations, commissioned Pacini to create a hot air balloon for the Canberra Centenary in 2013. With few limitations set by the ACT government, Pacini set out to create a balloon that didn't look like a thing, but was sculpted to be a living creature. The scale of the balloon meant that the creature would have to be a whale or dinosaur. The whale concept was chosen due to Pacini's fascinations with whales and their evolutionary journey from small hoofed cat-sized creatures to the largest living organism in Earth's history. The sky whale is the result of Pacini exploring the idea of whales evolving to life in the air instead of the ocean. Technical limitations meant that wings couldn't be part of the design. Taking cues from hot air balloons, she imagined the sky whale secreted lighter than air gas that was stored in large udders and in their bulbous bodies. From here, she designed the creature with a calm and benign face that would inspire empathy and not fear, creating a being that was massive and wondrous, existing between the impossible and unlikely. Once a form was agreed on, Pacini and her team set to work on creating a 3D model with a CAD program. It was here she added further detail and was able to assess what the creatures would look like from an observer's perspective or from a distance. With a 3D model in hand, the design was sent off to Cameron Balloons in Bristol, the UK. Using their own design systems, they worked collaboratively to tweak the design until it was perfect for construction. The colours, patterns and textures of the design were then transferred to 3,535 metres of fabric, culminating in approximately 3.3 million stitches sewn by six people. All up, the process took over seven months to complete and spanned the globe. The Sky Whale cost $172,000 to create, with $50,000 coming from the Arande Foundation. However, the cost of the entire project came to $350,000. This was to pay for the production of the Sky Whale, flights, upkeep, and licensing of the Sky Whale. The Sky Whale made her first public appearance on the 11th of May 2013. Pacini was a passenger on the maiden flight from the National Gallery to the National Museum of Australia, and during the flight, some of the stitches came loose, which meant that the Sky Whale had to return to Bristol for repairs. Since then, the Sky Whale has flown all over the world, from Japan to Ireland and Brazil. But she has not been free of controversy. Jeremy Hansen, the ACT opposition leader in 2013, felt the $300,000 price tag was too expensive for something that the ACT wouldn't own and was not symbolic of Canberra. Bicini has gone on to say, A lot of people bring baggage to the work, and I can't help that. Once I make the work, it goes out there. People respond to it in whatever way they want. And often it's to do with their own ideas about nurturing, maternity, breasts, and breastfeeding. The Sky Whale has been described as a giant turtle with breasts, terrifyingly nipply, and my personal favourite, the Hinden Boob. In 2019, the Sky Whale was anonymously donated to the National Gallery of Australia, a month before Pacini announced the NGA, with assistance from the Balnaise Foundation, had commissioned another Sky Whale. In response to the underrepresentation of women in the National Gallery's collection, with only 25% of the collection being created by women, the director of the NGA, Nick Mitsevich, created the Know My Name Australian Women Artists 1900 to Now exhibition. The commissioning of the Skywell Papa is part of this exhibition. Skywell Papa was meant to fly in March 2020, but the COVID-19 pandemic postponed plans until February 2021. Skywell Papa is a statement on masculinity and how it can be a nurturing force. He also answers the question of where the Sky Whale's children are. They're being looked after by Dad. Pacini hopes this will show that caring is not gendered and that it is available to all of us. 
Skywell Papa is made up of 2,342 1.5 metre panels, which equate to 3.5 kilometres of fabric, sewn together with 3.3 million stitches and stands at 30 metres tall, while carrying nine of the offspring. He has a more vertical design compared to the Sky Whale, who is 34 metres long and has 10 breasts. It takes 40 minutes for them to inflate with 4.5 tonnes of air. This may sound like a lot, but blue whales can weigh up to 173 tonnes. The Sky Whales have gone on to influence both music and baking. Canberra artist Jess Green, aka Fino, worked with Bacini to create a mini pop opera about the Sky Whales, to be played as the Sky Whale Papa took his first public flight. Here, have a listen. Three Mel's Bakery were also approached by Bacini to create a baked delicacy inspired by the Sky Whales. The only requirements? To be nutritious and to evoke the maternal nature of the Sky Whale. Three Mel's decided to create a conical purple wheat croissant, inspired by the Sky Whale's breasts, which was filled with honey milk custard to represent the comfort of warm milk as a kid, and plum jam. Finally, they were topped with freeze-dried raspberries and puffed amaranth meringue. I was lucky enough to have one and found that the purple wheat gave the croissant the texture of whole grain sourdough, as opposed to light and fluffy texture of regular croissants. Sky Whale and Sky Whale Papa were flying Canberra on the 8th of March and the 3rd of April 2021 before touring the country for the next two years. The Sky Whale started off as a project for the centenary of Canberra, but have gone on to become pop icons. And now as a family, they will grace our skies for years to come. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment and share. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button.